Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone video. And on this video folks, I am going to show you a fantastic method of taking out the notorious Mount Bailey Horde. Now, this does take place at night, and I've shown on the map exactly where they're located. This is basically their feeding area. Now, to get to the area that I want to go to, this is the safest way of doing it. If you can call it safe, because you're in the crazy south now, so it's uh, there's a lot of freakers about at night. Now, this is the rock face that I'm looking to actually climb here. Basically, once I've got to that spot there, I want off the bike very quickly. The horde will start coming towards me. They know where I am, or at least some of them do. Very important, in order to get onto that ledge, make sure that you're crouching down when you basically make that drop. If you do, you will have no problems getting onto that ledge every time. If you try it while you're standing, you'll see what will happen. <laughs> it doesn't end pretty, that's all I'm going to say, folks. But uh, at this point, uh, basically, you can see that I have a fantastic line of sight when it comes to the freakers that are approaching me here. You do have protection from the rock area there. Now, you are not untouchable at this spot, folks. I will make that very clear straight away. Um, you really do have to watch what you're doing when you are at this point. But as long as you're on point where you're shooting at the front section here, you really shouldn't get too much in the way of uh, trouble with freakers actually getting to your position. Now, don't worry about any of the freakers that you don't actually get at this point. The ones that basically fall down, I will show in a minute or so, they are actually going to be congregated very nicely below you. And uh, I will be looking to use a couple of uh, napalm molotovs to uh, seriously reduce the numbers. Now, it's worth noting, folks, that at this point, the numbers are starting to get less and less with the ones that are basically running towards me from the top section. They don't eternally loop with their numbers, uh, basically, until you take them all out. You can see right now, I'm looking down here, and this is all the ones that basically uh, made a run at me, and I've went over the cliffside. <laughs> uh, they're very nicely gathered below me, so... Of course, I'm going to hit them hard with uh, the Napalm Molotovs. And the last thing I'm actually going to do is to entice the rest of them now. You basically just have to move forward to that section of uh, this ledge here. And that gets them all running. And now, this should be the last of them that uh, I should be able to take out nice and easily. Now, you can go to this front ledge section uh, a lot earlier than what I do. But honestly, folks, I don't recommend it because basically, if you do, you are likely to get overrun at this position. You will definitely get a number of freakers that will manage to get onto that ledge uh, area. And uh, if you get knocked off, you are in trouble. But rest assured, folks, for the last run that I'm going to show in this video, I am actually going to show you all exactly what goes down when you basically bring the entire horde to that position. Because it is a lot of fun to do, folks. <laughs> However, that's the first method uh, all done and dusted. And the second run is basically going to involve two ledges. So, on to the second. Right in, on to the second method, folks. And this is what I simply like to call the two ledge method. It takes place at the exact same spot. It is pretty much more of the same. The only difference will be how I basically finish off this world. But... Uh, First things first, let's get to the area that I need to be to. And this figure's just gonna... And that was just absolutely freaking weird, folks. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Exit stage left there. Uh, okay, yeah. That aside, I'm looking just to get back up on uh, this position right here. Again, dismount the bike quickly. Make sure I'm in a crouching position before heading onto the sledge section here. And then I will get, yep, the numbers have already uh, started here, right? it says so, yep, they're very keen to get at me. But again, I'm going to do this the safe way, um, or as safe as can be. Um, doing it this way, you do get them up in uh, small groups, you're not getting the entire horde, but rest assured folks, I'll show you on the next one exactly what happens when you do send up the entire horde. <laughs> it is a lot of fun, but uh, for most people, I think they will be looking to do methods one or two. And this run is very surprising because I'm getting a really quite large amount of numbers for the freakers here. Uh, you don't normally get it going quite like this, but 
This is still very good, folks, because at this point it is still very manageable. And in fact, I'm almost starting to get a bit of a barrier at the very front here because of the dead freakers, which doesn't do any harm at all. But there we go, it's uh, finally starting to calm down a bit. Although they're still coming, I do have the luxury of knowing that all the ones that have actually managed to get past me are going to be sitting right below or standing right below me. And I am going to take care of them very soon, especially as the numbers now are starting to dwindle. Yeah, there they are. So, let's uh, have a bit of fun. Let's go with grenades. I'm purposefully using these folks just to basically show you that uh, you're that high at this point here that you can't get thrown off your position with explosives. So, if you have grenades, pipe bombs, whatever, just use them. But here's the variation coming. And um, truth be told, Christ almighty. <laughs> there was a few more of them down there than I expected, but that's okay. Um, basically, in a nutshell here, folks, I'm looking to get the last of them, and I'm looking to get back onto the bike. And this is actually very easy done, folks. I just get to the section here, just press the square button, and that's it. Hey, voila. Back on the bike, I'm getting off quickly, and then that's it. I'm just going to go to town on This is the tool. <laughs> Not only that, folks, but uh, they are basically congregated very nicely below you. And because their numbers now are seriously diminished, you are not going to have any of the problems that you would if you, say, tried to take on the horde from this position from the very start. Because I promise you, folks, you would get overrun. There's 300 of these bad boys uh, for the Mount Bailey horde. And they do get up to that position because they, it, it really is. They just go for it uh, big still with their uh, their World War Z style tactics. But anyways, this horde is just about done. There we go. Very nice. So that is another way of going about it. Only one method left to show. <laughs> yep. Uh, before I do that, I'll just show that this is the way that you basically get your bike back as well. Job done. Right then, folks, on to the last method. And, uh, well, <laughs> I can't really call this much else because this is going to be fun. I promised this right from the start. And, uh, yeah, this is the kind of carnage that you're going to get if you bring the entire hold over to your position as soon as you're on that ledge. So let's do this. This is going to be fucking fun, folks. So, um, very unusually... There is not much in the way of freakers at all in my way up to this uh, area. So, as always, just crouch down, slowly make my way over, get to that ledge point. Right, okay, let's fucking do this. Bring it on, Mount Bailey Horde. Do I have their attention, full attention? Yeah, I fucking well do now. Come on, here we go. I'm basically going to take the time at the beginning to uh, get this thing reloaded while the numbers are not huge. But uh, yeah, that's about to change because now it is full on. As soon as I run out of uh, ammunition on this one here, that's it, I'm changing. I really want to be hitting the numbers hard here. And, hmm. I'm not getting quite as many as I expected and wait a fucking minute, I see why. Okay, this can actually happen. Um, of course, yeah, I'm just making sure that this next lot come back up. Uh, there must be an animal up there. Um, that is why I have uh, significantly uh, reduced numbers to what I was expecting. But they will be coming back over. Yes, they are coming back over. So that's actually done me a bit of a favour here, folks, because uh, now I can... Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of regrouping. Um, I've managed to take out quite a number of them uh, uh, very safely indeed and uh, now their numbers are at a stage where this world isn't going to be a problem anymore. So yeah, that, that animal, whatever the hell it was that attracted uh, quite a number of the horde there, really did me a solid like. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. Uh, I am actually using the rinse and repeat method here. I'm, I'm purposefully staying right at the very front uh, so that I do loop the horde. Whenever they go over the cliffside, they will start heading straight back towards me. And this should be just about a lot of them. Okay. Yep, 
I suspected this, especially when that uh, animal entered the frame. I'm going to have to go headhunting here, folks, because uh, some of the horde are still out there. Now, nothing around here, but... Yeah, I can actually hear something going on up this way. Yeah, it's this lot over here. That's what, yeah, it's one of this lot that I'm looking for. Not sure how many I'm actually going to need here. It, there might be two of the Freakers that are part of the Mount Bailey Horde. Th there might be four or five of them. Just not sure. Right, let's slow things down here, see if I can get them. Hey! hey. <laughs> Finally! Uh, okay. Um... Uh, an unusual way to have to end the video, but yeah, I finally got the Freakers that I needed. And that is it, folks. That is a fantastically fun way to take out the Mount Bailey Horde. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video.